You're an idiot! Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Life of Abundance. Woman files for divorce and gets nothing. I haven't watched this one. Let's check it out. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's Jail Time. <laughs> what do you rate your looks on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm going to ask everybody. Like a 7. Like a 6.3. Why would you not rate you guys a 10? Like, we should be rating saying like probably the most overweight woman out of all the women ourselves a 10 i'm not the cap can i just say something before you go ahead yeah you know why you do that why you... why everybody rates themselves a six or eight or whatever because they are afraid of being arrogant and it's not arrogant to be confident to like yourself and to like your appearance but okay there's a difference between confidence and thinking that you're on par with the most beautiful women in the world. Now, ladies, here's a very valuable lesson that you all can learn. This this man's okay. General profile, you know, good looking dude. Okay, oh, let's go here. 62 likes and what? Five matches. I <laughs> now we have <laughs> Felicia, who's a floor. <laughs> 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 Ladies, your ego is inflated and overblown is because of social media and dating apps like this. Baby dolls, I just want you to humbly remember that the floor gets the same amount of likes as you do. <laughs> and that's what I think women do not realize. Just because you're a woman, you are going to get all those matches. Even if you put a female on the profile and put a male picture on there, you'll probably still get more matches than regular men. This is just how the dating profiles work. Men are just constantly swiping right on everyone. So everyone's going to get all those plus notifications. Really bad because I was like, I felt so bad Spin about it. it. Um, I called like child services mm -hmm. on this one. <laughs> I, call, I call child services on my ex. Because he pissed me off. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with this person. Whatever. Like, you know, cheater. Fucking piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Liesable, dumb shit. He had kids. I called child services mm -hmm. on his ass. And I, like, fabricated everything and, like, said certain things. And they, like, went to the door. And, like, there was a whole process. Like, I don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them. But she probably does. Because if you let a girl talk she will eventually tell on herself and this hood rat hoochie has no idea that she just incriminated herself and this is all the evidence you need right here in 4k if her ex is watching this bro you can report the crime sue her and you can get some of that only fans money that i know for a fact that she's rolling in what i said like the way i ai'd you know like real ai like fake bruises type shit. <laughs> Be careful, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Pretty crazy. So you fake bru- As the host of this show, and as she was saying this, I would have destroyed her. I would have destroyed her. There's just no way as a man myself can listen to this shit and not push back on what the fuck she just said right now. Bruises, you fake shit, and then you just made like exaggeration story and then- On their kid- on, on his kids. Yeah. Like, so hit- like, yeah, then they came. And they were like, oh, like, we're seeing stuff that your kids are being abused. You know, you could lose your kids. And I was just like, that sucks. <laughs> that wow. sucks. Yeah, should have been nicer. To you are willing to ruin kids' lives. Because you said multiple kids. You're willing to ruin these kids' lives just because this man cheated on you. That's how maternal women are nowadays they don't give a fuck as long as it hurts the man or gets them what they want they will use kids in any way shape or form to me bitch the simple fact that this girl is not thrown in jail and locked up lets you know how comfortable the laws has made for women to get away for crimes like this and gentlemen do you guys know what a man's deepest fear is Men are naturally hardwired to be repulsed by women that are hoes and promiscuous. Why? Shout out to my boy Rolo Tomasi. He talks about this all the time. 
Men want to be able to ensure paternity. Yeah. They want to know if they put, if you get pregnant and you have a child and I'm on the hook for paying for that child and taking care of you, etc. The kid is fucking mine. <laughs> a man's biggest fear, deepest fear is to be with a woman and the kid is not his. Meanwhile. Do you believe that the baby is your son? No, sir. And why don't you believe it's yours? Because I don't have no connection with him. I don't think he looks like me. And you say it's Sean's baby. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, let's but find you know out. What? This is the gentleman that took over after Maury, correct? Well, he did a good job, too. Sean, you took a DNA test before the show, and the DNA results are that you are not the father. I told you! I told you! My life, I told you! I would suppose this other guy that you put on the birth certificate. Yes. He, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. She put someone else on the birth certificate and still want after this guy to be the father? Um, just he is minute. the dad. Um, well, he happens to be here. Um, let's bring him out. Oh, All these you young cats, like you man. You don't want to be the father. You don't want to be the no, father. No, I do not. You Look. don't want to be the father. <laughs> no, I do well, not. Well, obviously, okay. for some reason, you That's guys don't like me Because you ain't did nothing. They ain't going to never do nothing. So, Ben, then why'd you, you with them? are not the father. <laughs> This man has freed more black men than Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and this is how bad bitches and hot girl summer usually end up in the real world. And the only true victim here is the child. It is. When you found out she was pregnant, even though she said it could be yours or it could be my ex's, did you step up? Yes, ma'am. You did? Yes, ma'am. I did everything. You no. Know, take care of the boys, make sure they going to school. I was, you know, feeding her, doing the cleaning. So you were there participating like the father. Did you sign the birth certificate? No, no, I, I, I didn't sign anything because I wanted the DNA to first. Well, that was smart. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are not the father. <clears throat> As much as women want to say, talk shit about men, about being deadbeat fathers, they never mention the good fathers or never, ever, ever say anything about these men that really did their best to be good fathers, but it turned out they weren't even fathers. I didn't know. Yeah. You okay, Mr. Jones? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you will find comfort in knowing that you did the right thing. I want to send this man lots of love and blessings. And may the universe and God reward this man for being such a great soul. Because without any sign of recognition, he did what a man's supposed to do. And bless his heart. Just recently got divorced after 19 years, been separated since 2015. And we just only got divorced like two weeks ago, it's cool. And everyone's like, oh, what did you get out of your divorce? I said, no. You know what would happen if DNA testing was mandatory? If they tested all women? You'd have enough. Calamity. Mean, my sister told me Calamity. the other day, this should be standard. My sister told me the last... Remember, we did the video on the judge earlier. The judge said four out of five. That is 80 fucking mother percent. That's, that's why they won't do she it. She said though. it should be a standard thing at the hospital. Th but that's DNA why they won't tests. do it. To me, it just makes I, sense. I'm Get doing, an epidural DNA test. I'm doing a, I'm doing a documentary um, on the court system here in the UK. And I, um, I was interviewing this guy, he, he works for, it's called Fathers for Justice, and they help men get custody of their kids. And one thing I found out is in the UK, um, you are actually given a free, free counsel, which is a, a lawyer, basically, mm -hmm. if you accuse your husband of abuse. Mm -hmm. And what the of women course. can do is they can accuse the guy of abuse and um, file a restraining order against him, even if he did nothing. And if he breaks that, he actually goes to jail. Yeah. And, and it can take one to two years to even get the kid back. So you could have a newborn and not see the kid for two years over a false allegation. And you guys want to know what's really twisted and messed up? That woman never get in trouble for lying about it in court. You spent five years in prison for failing to pay child support for the defendant, Miss Sears' son, Dylan. Right. Mr. Manser, you are 
not oh, God. his not? father. Oh, Five years, man. guys. Five years in prison. She should be convicted of some crime. No, I should not. I didn't. That Mr. is fraud. But wait, there's more. Here are the results of the paternity test. Well, what the fuck? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. What? Come on, bro. What you doing all that for? Read this paper. What the fuck this say? What you mean? What? Read what that say right there. They need to do this over. Nigga. I'm not. I'm not the father. I'm not the father. I ain't paying no more child support. They need to do, no, bro. they need to do this over. I ain't paying no more child support, dog. I swear to God, I already knew it, bro. Is everything okay? This is exactly why paternity test should be a federal law. Because some people, they just can't stay monogamous. If you really think about it, true. actually, the idea of monogamy is... I definitely should not be talking about No, this. this is so good. We all know that rich princes and counts and barons, they had mistresses all over the place. Yep. Monogamy as an idea has never really existed. Mm. It's just been that the women were supposed to be monogamous. Mm. So actually, I do think that there is this whole thing about like this idea that you're supposed to have one partner forever is sort of... What's your favorite thing to do? What do you love to do while you're here? I want to shooting in uh, America Street. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Bro just want to live the American dream. Give this man a citizenship. <laughs> My brother, welcome to America. Yo, okay, but can you be real with me? Is there a racial hierarchy of size so i would say it would be black guys and then honestly um i would say it'd be a, a tie between like white guys and hispanic guys but like hispanic guys have thicker you know really they're thicker rather than longer wow yeah Wait, i would have never known that I like to make music that moves people clap 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 that ass bitch shake that camel toe let me see them ladies and gentlemen this is what our ancestors died for freedom and degeneracy i'm so upset that the things we did and the things we fought for and the boys that died for it it's all gone down the drain our country's gone to hell in a handbasket we haven't got the country we had when i was raised not at all nobody will have the fun i had nobody will have the opportunity i had it's just not the same. That's not what I was. That's not what they died for. <laughs> and this is the sad thing about military conscription, right? These men that fought in World War II, some of them didn't even want to. They had to. They were forced to, to protect this country. And to see where it is now, I'm sure a lot of these men would be rolling in their graves. I, just... I really hate showing you guys these clips because most of it is extremely sad. But this is the reality that some of us face. And gentlemen, on that note, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Life of Abundance. He's more of like the comedy entertainment one, but I like it when he does get serious and covers the serious topics because I cover those topics quite a bit too. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.